Hello and welcome back to our RD350 series of videos and today's topic is oil pump and this is not going to be your usual oil pump versus premix debate we'll like our other videos we'll be talking about uh, you know the finer points and the nuances uh, which no one uh, has shared earlier okay and uh, it would not only tell you about the oil pump uh, you know it will essentially tell you how that oil pump functions plus you know uh, a, a few do's and don'ts okay and of course if it was better than the other air cool rds yes so uh, again cost conscious market the oil pump had been developed for indian rd350 um, we got rid of the priming wheel which we had on 350 and 521 so that was used to calculate the flow of the oil, get rid of the trapped air and, and you know those kind of things which could have easily done without running the engine. So it had a uh, the original 360 and 521 and a plastic priming wheel at the end of the pump uh, which meant that uh, the shaft would have to be longer to accommodate that extra oil seal, mm -hmm. the plastic wheel itself. So we got rid of that. That was the obvious thing to do. Uh, let them run the engine, let them do the pre-mix, all that long winded to save the engine from uh, starving if you want to calculate the output of your oil pump you have to put a premix either you remove tank have an auxiliary tank mm -hmm. with premix or you mix the so it's a long winded again True. however on 350 uh, a b uh, you could have just prime it by hand so it had a, a ratchet wheel inside mm -hmm. and which allowed with the static engine to spin the pump and count uh, the delivery of 5 ml at full throttle uh, 200 strokes so you could not do that on Indian RD you have to run the engine count the 200 strokes and then individually measure 5 ml from both pumps so what is Indian oil pump as we have discussed before in earlier videos that Indian uh, bike had been calibrated for fuel efficiency so you have definitely reduced the fuel because your air box has been designed for Indian application uh, your uh, uh, fuel efficiency has been increased so you have reduced the oil consumption yeah. or you have changed the oil profile so if you look at the indian pump first thing you will notice that the pulley has one a zero marking mm -hmm. and one a zero is again going back to the 250 rd 250 later on series right not the ab 250 but later on series mm -hmm. so uh, yes so uh, there are people who block the uh, 39 ps top end on indian bike and if you are uh, running an oil pump, you might not be doing yourself a favor by just running the original RT350, you might as well change the oil pump. All right. Go for the original 360 or 521 oil pump because, not even 521, because that is the area that's unexplored by me. I, I have not, absolutely, I'll be honest with you, I won't, I, I won't claim anything, but at least 360 oil pump. Uh, it would be suitable for a uh, US top end. Otherwise, you might be not getting the full uh, performance or the durability of the engine. I mean, immediately it won't be apparent if you use the Indian pump yes, yes, with the yes. uh, US top end. Uh -huh. Immediately it may not be apparent because uh, the areas where the uh, oil ratio had to be different, you may not be riding in that area. True, true, true. However, if you talk about the whole usage profile, mm -hmm. then the right thing would be is to put the correct oil pump. So there is now again theory of pre-mixing, but that's a debate for that. Some other day, some other day. day. Right now, we just wanted to focus on, on the stock bike. Absolutely, absolutely. So, so yes, 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 yes. Lovely. Uh, and it was localized, by the way. Mm -hmm. I do not know who made it. Maybe Precol, because most likely Precol did a lot of pumps back then. Mm -hmm. But uh, again, looking at the design, in fact, it matches a lot with RX hundred. RX hundred. So you might use some of the guts from RX100 pump into RT350. Mm -hmm. Should there be a need for parts, then you might take the RX100 pump and use some of the parts from it, especially the non-return valve, mm -hmm. uh, which could be useful, the gears inside if they are safe. But uh, oil seals, definitely the plunger oil seal inside is RX100 carry over mm -hmm. or carried over into RX100, the main oil seal, So True. which is which is a big uh, blessing in disguise that we can still find uh, uh, parts for a service of Indian pump. Mm -hmm. However, uh, the 
uh, the oil pump of 350AB were not serviceable to that level. So you do not find that tiny plunger oil seal outside India. Mm. So again, we have a little bit of advantage that we break down everything to another degree. So we do have oil seal for the plunger in India. All right, 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 all right. right. So uh, great, uh, as always, Dr. Mike, this has been uh, you know, enlightening, enriching, and I'm sure you would agree as well. And uh, please do let me know if you have any questions, and uh, you know, I'll get Gautam Bhai to answer those queries as well. Certainly. And uh, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon in the next one. Thank, thank you so you. much.